Shalina Vichitra channels her travels to Ladakh through her artwork. Now that might not make immediate sense because the style she uses is non-representational art. It's not quite abstract, not quite figurative, so let's figure it out. We are most exposed to is figurative, from portraits to photographs to pets to paintings of landscapes. At the other extreme is abstract art. Think Eset Raza's geometrical abstraction. But what lies in between? You might see a shape on the canvas, but that is the only thing one can recognize. Everything else is an outburst of artistic, emotional experience. That is non-representational art. And that is what defines artist Shalina Vichitra's style. I have, uh, you know, references, metaphors from, you know, uh, inspirations from landscape and, uh, you know, architecture and many other things. So, uh, but there's no recognizable object per se. So we would say that it's a non-representational uh, kind of work. The metaphors are coming, the images are coming from some uh, references and then they kind of get translated into something abstract. So yes, it is something in between, it's not totally figurative, it's not even representational because I'm not directly painting a, you know, a specific image that represents something. A decade of art practice and over two decades of journeys to Ladakh have led Shalina's artistic outbursts to become works that explore the many ways we live. My work has been inspired by my travels to Ladakh. Uh, I won't say that I'm really painting Ladakh as in Ladakh, but I'm taking a lot of uh, experiences, visual imagery from that place and uh, it kind of filters through my own experience and engagement uh, from uh, you know my travels and my interaction with the local people there and the environment so it's the colors the textures of the earth all the geographic formations they become metaphors and then i kind of um, see them uh, representing entities and uh, emotions existences and you know those contradictions of our, you know, urban life and that's how I kind of connect my image to what I'm trying to experience. A lot of my work is inspired by Buddhism. And because I've traveled, uh, you know, in that area where Buddhist, Buddhist uh, culture is very predominant. So I've done like a series of works uh, called Prayers for the Earth. And it was um, a thousand white flags. I did a thousand white flags and I mounted them on a trekking trail in the dark and then left them there. Experiences and observations filtering into Shalina's work find new meanings like wheels inspired by the traditional Buddhist prayer wheels. The prayers are the act of rotating for me. The forms are what is being represented on us, that which comes from, you know, the, uh, the tactile qualities of the earth and the formations and, you know, like uh, the mountains and the triangles and the, the windows. So all that is part of the visual surface and uh, the prayers are the act of rotating. The experience of watching the nomadic Changpa tribe in Ladakh find a new home every day led her to introspect on what it means to city dwellers and create the series Shelters and Where on Earth. Here, she navigates the relative concept of home by making the form of the shelters she paints abstract. 
I was engaging with the thought of what really a shelter means to an individual because uh, you know to start with you start thinking that like a house is supposed to be this uh, you know image of stability and something which is very permanent and strong and uh, and then you know you see this uh, group of people living in these tents and that is the stability for them and uh, it's something which is so impermanent and fragile yet so stable for them because that's what gives them the security from all the elements and the rain and the wind and uh, you know the extreme weather so that led me to do this entire series as artists like vichitra push their boundaries of how to express styles like these are finding footing in the wider art world When I started off 15 years back from college yes it was difficult and it's getting better and uh, people are relating to this kind of work a lot more than they were earlier and especially installations and mixed media works so yeah there is a mix of uh, all sorts of people i would say that uh, uh, figurative work still has its place in the indian market but uh, it's it's getting better and a lot more people are relating to this kind of work now